I'm reading from a book I wrote called The Day the World Discovered the Sun, and it is about these expeditions around the world to observe the transit of Venus in 1769. These astronomers and explorers uh, travel to some very far-flung locations, and the excerpt that I'm going to read is um, of a French and Spanish uh, expedition to Baja, uh, Mexico, or well, present-day Mexico. They arrive on the shores uh, and... I'll pick up the story from there. The ocean had already soaked the longboat's passengers on approach to the shore, and as breakers pushed the craft toward its uneasy meeting with white sand, the saltwater spray ensured no clothes or unpacked provisions came ashore without a briny overscent coloring the sweat and stench of a long passage. The boom of a vivacious gulf now safely behind him was all the roaring crowd, that Shap needed. Shap is one of the astronomers. Then it was that casting my eyes upon my instruments that lay all around me, and not one of them damaged in the least, Shap reflected, revolving in my mind the vast extent of land and sea that I had so happily compassed, and chiefly reflecting that I had still enough time before me, fully, to prepare my intended observation, I felt such a torrent of joy and satisfaction it is impossible to express, so as to convey an adequate idea of my sensation. The sun hung low over the scrubby San Felipe foothills to the northwest. Nightfall was too close at hand to venture to San Jose del Cabo's active mission seven miles inland. Instead, the abandoned former mission at the edge of the beach was their nearest shelter for the night. Fresh water from the nearby lagoon quenched the party while, f while fresh pitahaya fruit must have tasted like multicolored manna to stale mouths deadened by salt meats and hardtack. One part of the abandoned beachside property, however, was active. The nearby cemetery kept an informal history of the region told in tombstones, grave markers for local missionaries and converted indigenes of the peninsula, dating back to the mission's founding in 1730. And judging from the number of fresh graves, in fact, history was still being made. Word had been spreading across the region for that uh, for nearly a year, a brutal fever had been carrying off both Spanish and native populations like nothing since the spotted fever epidemics of the 1740s. Some called this new plague measles, others a different kind of grande enfermedad. All who knew enough to say, knew enough to advise the travelers to stay far away from anyone infected. The thundering surf, feeding in from the bay, sounded a steady and soothing drone to the travelers who at last lay down for the night, casting their thoughts northward to their final inland destination, just a couple of leagues away. A welcome sleep washed over the voyagers, even as fits of chills and shivers gripped stricken locals in the epidemic's deadly embrace. A warm offshore breeze kissed the nearby jacaranda trees, cradling their purple blossoms softly to the ground.